Hi, I'm Varsha and you're watching this video from JustUtures.com. In this video, we are going to learn about elimination method. But before moving to our today's topic, we'll try a warm-up question. Here is a warm-up question for you. To try this question, you can pause the video. So basically, in this question, you need to find the answer for the variable x and y using substitution method. That means, we need to find out the value of one variable from it say y is equals to 9 plus x and then we can substitute the value of y as 9 plus x in the next equation so that would be 9 plus x equals minus 7 that is going to be 3x plus 2 times 9 is 18 plus 2 times x is 2x equals to minus 7 which is equals to 5x equals minus 7 minus 18 so this is 5x equals minus 25 which gives us a value of x as if we divide both sides by 5 now so which gives us a value of x as minus 5 so the value of x is minus 5 now we substitute the value of x here so that would be y is equals to 9 plus minus 5 which gives us a value of y is equals to 9 minus 5 which is y equals to 4 so the answer of this question is minus 5 and 4. Now we move ahead and we are going to learn about the next method which is elimination method. So the addition method of solving system of equation is also called the method of elimination. This method is similar to the method you probably learn for solving simple equations. So basically as the name suggests elimination means first we'll try to eliminate one variable out of the given equations then we find out the value of the first variable and then by substituting the value of the first variable in any of the equation we can get the value of the next variable there are some steps that we need to follow while solving the questions re regarding elimination methods so while using elimination method use this step so the step one says first multiply both the equations by some suitable non-zero constant to make the coefficient of any of the one variable numerically equal so we need the coefficient numerically equal so there is an equation as ax plus by equals c a1x plus p1y equals to d so we need to try to make the a or a1x as same or b and b1x as same so that we can eliminate one variable out of x and y from these two equations the next step is then either we can add or subtract one equation from the other so that one variable gets eliminated so to eliminate the variable we can either add or subtract that's our choice the next is solve the equation in one variable so the new equation that we get that is a linear equation in one variable so we can solve that equation to get the value of that variable now we substitute the value of that variable in next equation to find out the variable to find out the value of the another variable now we move ahead and we'll try a question so the question is 4x minus 3y equals 4 next is x minus y equals 2 so what we can do we can time this equation by 3 we get 4x minus 3y equals to 4 3x minus 3y equals to 6 now we subtract them so we change the signs now 4 take away 3 is 1x plus 1x and then this will get cancelled and we get here as minus 2 so the value of x is minus 2 now we substitute the value of x in this equation that will give us minus 2 minus y equals 2 which gives us y minus y equals to 2 plus 2 which gives us minus y equals to 4 so the value of y is minus 4 so the answer of this equation is minus 2 and minus 4 now we move ahead and here are some practice questions for you to try these questions you can pause the video so in these questions as well you need to use elimination method to find out the value of x and y here are the answers for these questions you can match the answers and you can pat your back as you are working really good in solving the linear equation two variables using elimination method thank you for watching the video for more please visit justutors.com